go so fast. My son was very active in my belly all the time, but that was because I was very active at my work and it was very stressful. Um, but then when I would calm down, he would be completely calm and relaxed. And it was the heartbeat that I would always get. I would always get that pulse, pulse and, and I would kind of work with that to calm myself down with the beat. So that's why the heartbeat was very important for me all, all the way through my pregnancy. It's like nothing you've ever heard. It's fast, um, strange. You can every time I move, or I can feel her moving. It reflects in her heartbeat, which is quite nice. So I think the the first time that you hear the heartbeat is really it's, it's really lovely and it's, it makes it feel very real. That there's a little baby inside of you, and it's just definitely a special moment. I don't know. It's kind of indescribable how it sounds. It's it's different kind of fuzzy. It's nice. It's nice to know that she's in there. It's nice to know that she's healthy. It's reassuring. It's always just sort of, um, yeah, it's just nice to hear that he's still in there and still doing well and that's the main thing really. Kind of warming to know that there's, it's because of me that she's there. It's nice. I carry your heart right under my Signal from need, little you. I know you can hear those brand new ears like shells in the sea. The sea's inside me. You'll hear it ticking along nicely and then you might hear boom, 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 boom. Sort of a two-tone beat. Boom, boom, boom. Two-tone fast beat. <laughs> a bit like a, a drum. Some of the toddlers say that it's like a train. It sounds bum, like a train. Bum, bum, it's like Thomas. Bum, bum, bum. Or a horse. Bum, bum, Galloping bum. along. It's um, bum, bum. a nice regular rhythm. It's the most magical sound. I think it's... Something you never forget. Heart swish <laughs> and thump. <laughs> Surround sound bump. Blood sings in my strings. These sounds are all you. Babu. everything organised for her. Yeah, it's nice. I just can't wait now. I've been a bit scared the whole way through, but and I get agitated, get a bit nervous, but when I do hear her, it's, it kind of puts you a wee bit, it gets you calmer. So, but yeah, right now her foot's in my rib. <laughs> I wish she'd move that. <laughs> it's quite exciting though. I everything's okay. Good sign. It makes you obviously confirm that you're definitely expecting. <laughs> um. Yeah, it was good. And it was, it was really reassuring just to hear it. Being first baby and everything, it's, it's good to hear. Well, it felt more like a nudge in my tummy and I put my hand on my belly and that's when I noticed just a constant pulsing sound and it just kind of shook through my entire body, this pulsing motion um, and then I put my hands on it and I says, oh my God, that is you and obviously I was talking to my baby and I was like, oh my, but no, it was 
it brought tears to my eyes, so it did. Um, and that's when I knew, definitely going to be a mum. Okay then. <laughs> It's amazing, really, that babies can hear from around about 24 weeks of pregnancy that even, I think even earlier, like um, certain sounds that they're able to respond to. We hear whoosh sounds, we hear uh, muffled tones coming through. Swooshy, as you're in water. A bit like when you're swimming in the swimming pool. You can hear everything that's going on above the water, but you can't always hear it with such clarity. You can hear muffled tones, you can hear muffled um, voices, um, but you can't actually distinguish the words of that. But you'd still be aware of rhythms and high sounds, low sounds, angry tones, soft tones. Hello, baby. Or are you there? I feel you. There you are. Oh, mummy loves you so, so much. Hello, I see you. Aha, uh -huh, you're in my belly. There you are. How are you? Oh, is that a wee kick from me? Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, you're doing so well. Mummy is so proud of you. And I can't wait until I see you. Aha. Uh -huh. Hello. Are you still awake in there? You're a wee bit quiet. You gonna move? Oh, we kick, good boy. Hello. 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 <laughs> you okay in there? We'll see you soon. Hello. I see you, darling. You'll be here soon. I can't wait until I hold you in my arms. And I love you very, very much. Sleep her when I dance. Dance her when I sleep. Sugar hiccup, floater. Safe in the deep. Sleep her when I dance. Dance her when I sleep. Sugar hiccup, floater. Safe in the deep. Um, I used to just talk to him like day to day or if I'm in the shower, which is quite a lot, I'd be like, oh, it's the water's hot and just random stuff. It wasn't particularly talking, it was just talking to myself, but I was pregnant, <laughs> you know what I mean? I think I just feel a bit silly talking to her, but certainly other people, my, my sister, she talks to her a lot. This is our first baby in the family for a long time and I tend to feel that other people talk to her more than I do. She kind of puts her ear up close and she talks away and she does, she gets kicked. She can feel the kicks when she's speaking to her, so she must recognise sounds, definitely. Even if it's not my voice, it's she can definitely understand Karen's. You roll so. like a tumbler. Yeah, <laughs> kicked in the ear or the cheek. You sleeper and creeper. Astronaut spacewalk. Far off star, you swimmer, we stranger, you hunger and nudge, kickboxer, tap dancer, swim to my touch, you're a stone. Joker, this is just.
is the star. We were trying to think as a boy or a girl, so we would maybe like see names in that and see, like we would say, right, kick if you like this name or kick if you like that name and that, eh? Can you get your foot out my rib, please? <laughs> um, no, just, um, just be healthy and I'll see you soon. Definitely sort of say hello and um, probably more at night when my husband and I are both in bed. We'll have a little chat and sort of encourage almost him to talk to the baby as well. You're a stowaway, silky, a wisp, and a lark, reptacular, bright shiner. I was keen to sing wee songs, make up wee songs, uh, sort of say hello a lot, you know, and just chat away and just tell her what we were going to do when she was out and, t you know, just explain what we'd been doing and during the day and then sometimes Mabel the cat would come up and put her paw on uh, Jess's tummy and you could, you know, I would explain oh, that purring noise, that's the cat and you'll meet Mabel as well and it just kind of chatting away. So she'd be used to us when she came out, you know, yeah. Which just, well, we thought it might be relaxing to her and uh, just a bit of fun. Uh, I think it was the idea of her, her getting used to there's people outside that were nice and uh, it was a nice environment she was going to be coming into and just making sure she, it was more about making sure she recognised us and got used to us, the sound of her voice, I think that was a big thing. So she'd be prepared somewhat for coming out, and just the idea of re relaxing tones, just to put put it at ease. Yeah. She's got a foot in my ribs. I tend to try and encourage her down, but more so, I listen to music. I get the biggest reaction with her moving to music. I'm a big Michael Bolton fan. <laughs> Michael Bolton, Backstreet Boys. So, a bit of a <laughs> difference in genre there, but they tend to be the two kind of things that make her move. He actually likes Jay-Z, so I'm not sure if that's <laughs> really baby appropriate. It's not Mozart or anything like that, but he definitely seems to um, kick back and enjoy that, so it's quite nice. It's more if other people want to feel her move. I know that straight away Michael Bolton will make her move, <laughs> like me. <laughs> Aye, and she definitely responds, I think, to some of the records we used to listen to when she was in the room. You know, just to sort of, she'll relax a bit more. It's funny, when, when she was just a newborn, you know, any anytime we changed her nappy, she would start screaming, she hated it. But, I realised if you put on uh, reggae music, she would calm down, you know. And I don't know what, it, maybe the bass, she could hear the bass in the room. But, uh, and uh, some jazz music she liked. Uh, but it just kind of seemed to put her at ease a wee bit. Yeah. Um, depends on what song it is. He clearly likes some music more than others. So, um, yeah, just increased movement, kicks. Um, yeah, I think he's having a little dance in there sometimes. <laughs> The 
There's not much more for us to do. The paint is fresh, the rug is new. The cot is put together too. The one thing missing is you. Your auntie Sal, your cousin Sue, my mother's mum and granddad too. All our friends are forming a queue. The one thing missing is you, just you wait. You see it. There's so much to show you, son. Just you wait till you hear it. Your song has just begun. The sun that. Flying past the view, the coming spring is all your due. The one thing missing is you, but one day soon we'll see your face. The journey's hard. Scoop you up in our embrace and say welcome to your place. <laughs> hmm. Hello, baby. How are you? Or are you there? So I'm just get everything organised for her. It's nice. I just can't wait now. You'll be here we'll soon. See you soon. Hello. I can't wait until I hold you in my arms. I'd say she definitely recognised my voice when she was just first born. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Do you usually do I obviously when they're born the majority of the time they're usually screaming. <laughs> um, but one see there's obviously myself. Uh, Dad gets them usually settled in quite quickly, so they're already aware of the voices. You know, they're already aware of you. Um, aye, aye, they, re- they, re- they react to you because obviously you carried them for nine months, they've been listening to everything that's going on, kind of thing. Um, in fact, I had an instance of my wee two year old, when she was born, she screamed a place down the other midwives as soon as Dad took her. Silence. <laughs> so you can, you know, that's. The kind of thing, you know, they're obviously already aware of their surroundings, kind of thing. She was in the court lying there and she looked dead, sort of, you know, she, it was quite emotional actually, but she was she had to be newborn hat to put on and she was just lying there looking a bit shocked. But as soon as I said hello, she, it was like she recognised my voice and her wee head whipped round and she was kind of, oh, like that, you know, like I'm sure she recognised my voice. And then so I just sort of had to be chat with her and said, hello, how you doing, Jim? I'm your daddy and all that, and then it kind of seemed to, she remembered it, and it seemed to settle her down, you know. She she definitely recognised the voice, you know, so it was, it was, it was nice to see. When he was born, he was crying, he was irate, he didn't know what was happening. The minute I held him and I spoke to him, he was quiet. He just completely calmed down and he grabbed my pinky finger with his hand. And I think that's a lot to do with the communication we obviously had when he was in me, so, yeah. There's not much more for us to do The paint is fresh, the rug is new The cot is put together too The one thing missing is you Just you wait Till you see it 
There's so much to show you, son Just you wait Till you hear it Your song has just begun The sun that every day is new The wee birds flying past the view The coming spring is all your due The one thing missing is you But one day soon we'll see your face The journey's hard but full of grace We'll scoop you up in our embrace And say welcome to your place <laughs> Hello